Hi, and thanks for stopping by to watch and interact with the course overview to the Essential Powerball series. In the next few minutes, you'll learn how this course will help you to learn everything you need to know and to do to get productive as a Powerball programmer. When you're done watching this, you'll be able to intelligently decide that this course is the most cost-effective and efficient way to master the basics of programming in Power Builder. The presentations, demonstrations, and coding exercises are going to help you to master all you need to do and to know to get going as a Power Builder programmer. So, when you're done with this course, you should be able to skillfully use the Power Builder interface and many of its tools to prototype, code, test, and deploy a workgroup scale client server application that you'll build from scratch, employing best practice techniques and approaches. Or do maintenance tasks on an existing enterprise scale client server application. Is this course for you? Well, ultimately, you'll decide. However, I wrote this course with two groups in mind. The first group are professional software application developers working within an enterprise environment who need to rapidly and efficiently transition to the Power Builder platform to do some sort of an important project for their organizations. The second group are technical college IT students and trainees who are already familiar with structured programming techniques, procedural programming language fundamentals, relational database systems and SQL, as well as using a professional programming platform IDE. Those people who are getting ready to go into industry and work as professional programmers. In order to be considered a Power Builder programmer, you must master these things. Navigating the Power Builder IDE workbench and working with its graphical painter tools. Coding application logic in the PowerScript coding language using the PowerScript graphical editor. Designing and automating a user interface using the Power Builder GUI elements and their APIs, presenting and interacting with enterprise data using data window technology, and deploying a finished application to the user desktop. This course is going to help you know and do all these things and more. You'll build your knowledge base by focusing on the contents of the presentation, interactions, and videos. You'll hone your coding skills by running the demos and performing the lab exercises. When you're through with the course, you will have a confident feeling that you accomplished your goal. This Essential Power Builder series course is divided into seven units. To learn more about the contents of a unit, click on a unit number below to view and read an introduction to its contents. I'll not be narrating, so concentrate on the written words and pictures. The first time you go through this course, explore the units in sequence to get the full benefit of the training. After completing the entire course, you can review the units and or any topic in them in any order that you want. Here's a sample of what a topic quiz will be like. This quiz has two questions about the contents of this overview. Click the next button to begin the quiz. Let's talk nuts and bolts. What's in the box? More than 10 hours of presentations, which include 80 embedded demonstration videos in which I illustrate best practice techniques, tips, and shortcuts live inside Power Builder. Lots of flash audio and animation with accompanying texts. More than 20 interactive exploration activities in which you can get up close with properties and methods and the IDE. And each of the activities is backed by a test your knowledge quiz in which you can make sure that you got the points. The course is loaded with demo programs that you can run to get hands-on feeling for key concepts. There are hands-on mini labs in which you'll practice what you just heard and saw. And you'll build a complete application from soup to nuts in the labs with more than six hours of in-depth coding exercises. Each of the labs is backed by a lab solution video in which you can see how I wrote my code. And there's a runnable code solution in which you can read the code, examine it, and compare it to your solution. So how can you know if this course is quality? The course author and presenter, me, Yaakov Wordy, has been continually teaching Powerbolt to professional audiences for over 13 years, more than 10 of them as an employee of Sybase. I put a huge amount of effort into designing this course's content and its presentation style. I built it using very current technologies, and I designed it based on adult cognitive learning theory to result in predictable learning outcomes presentation, you're going to see an explained and annotated preview of the lab exercise final solution. That is what you're going to build during this course. Let's start by looking at the file system. eLearnIt Labs is the root 
of all the course lab exercises. Core, this is the core course, is where we'll be focusing all efforts. Notice also that there's an advanced course, and the contents of that folder will be part of the add-on to this course, where you'll go into more advanced topics. Let's look at the end result first, and that's in the Project Deploy folder. You can note that there are, we're actually going to deploy this application that we're going to build in three different ways. There's the executable. You'll be learning how to deploy in Unit 7. Switching over now to the Power Builder IDE, in the Power Builder System tree, you can notice the various development artifacts. You'll be learning all about how to set up your development environment and navigate the IDE, as well as laying the foundation for your application in Unit 1 of this course. Back over now to the file system. Notice the INI file. This INI file stores and remembers the operator's preferences for each window's size, location, and background color. You're going to code both the load and store interfaces in PowerScript code. There'll be activities surrounding this functionality in Units 2 and 4 of the course. Back over now to the file system. I'm going to run the application by double-clicking the executable. There's the application. Notice the main window in the background and the login window on top of it. You'll be learning the skills to design the application GUI, including using three different types of windows and a whole bunch of controls in Unit 3. I'm going to try to log in. I entered some credentials, and let me click OK. Oh my, an invalid entry. You'll be writing window logic in event handlers and class functions in Unit 4. Now I'm really going to log in. You'll be writing this in Unit 2 and 4, and hooking it into the menu system in Unit 3. OK, there's also a reporting sus subsystem that has two reports, a detail report and a summary report. There's the summary report. And there's the detail report. OK, the times aren't exactly realistic, but it was fun. OK, for now, if you purchase this course, there's a link in the attachment section of the course player that you can use to download a zip file that will set up your course exercise lab environment. Go ahead and set that up to get started. You'll also find the instructions for each lab in a PDF file that's in the attachments tab of each course unit. I also provided a video of the unit lab code walkthrough as the last page in each unit so you can see how I did the lab and what my solution looks like. Finally, if you get stuck, don't forget the course forum. I monitor it daily and I'll be glad to help you out and answer your questions. Happy power building! Ready to start? Then click the start button to start mastering Power Builder today.